Hello everyone and welcome to our video on how our child is communicating. In this video we're going to talk about three things. One, what is our child learning style? How do we react to that? And what are the best exercise or best, best practice to use? So the first one is a child that repeats things that you say and learns from that or using echolalia. So let's say that a child saying, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. Every time he gets a bump on his head or anything else. So the child, okay, he, he, we told him you're hurt and he's repeating, I'm hurt. And that's okay. That means that he knows how to say that something is bad is happening. So he did a transfer from what he said, what he will learn, and from there he can continue. But let's say that he is saying, oh no, what do you do if you get hurt? What do you say? So your child is he remembers that, that time that he got hurt and you start to tell him, oh no, what do you say when you get hurt? So he's trying to tell you that he got hurt from his eye, but he remembers that before that he needs to do the whole spiel, the whole story of I got hurt, oh, what do you say when you got hurt? He won't get to the point because he thinks, oh, the, for me to get help, I need to say all of those things. So that child doesn't have understanding of language in a higher level. He has it in a very basic way. Another learner is a visual learner. Those kids are the kids that uh, they see a, a picture and they can study it and they learn from it. The problem with those kids that they don't uh, react correctly to the real situ situation. I'll give you an example. I was teaching with child with pictures. Um, uh, what is if you see someone hurt, uh, bump his leg, uh, there is uh, something in his leg or anything else. What do you do? Give me three examples. What do you do? So he said correctly. He said. Oh, I will help him, I will call for help, uh, I will tell him everything is okay, don't cry, all of those things. Great answers. But I wasn't satisfied that he understand what to do. So what I have done, during therapy, I ran and I fell on purpose on a mat and I called him and said, oh my God, I'm hurt, help, help. And his answer was, not now, I'm busy. So, thank you. Uh, but uh, that shows you that, okay, he knows in the picture. He knows the answer, the regular answer, okay, what am I going to do? But when he's going to the real time of doing it, he doesn't understand. So that is another learner that we have. We have also hands-on learner. Hands-on learner is what we as therapists love because then the child learns. The child, uh, we prefer to teach a child with real life experience and with real uh, things that are around him. So for example, we can take blocks and put them one over another. We can Sell, uh, ask, let's say that Jenny is not verbal and she, I, I want to teach her gestures. So what I would do, I would give her blocks, the blocks box will be over here, I would teach her how to move, I will tell her, okay, let's put the uh, blocks one after the other, I would say put and say give me and my hand will be here and then she will put it in my hand as I take it away and then she will take another one and will do the gesture give me and then I will put the box of the blocks behind my back 
and ask give me and she will give me this and I will continue and she will say and I will see that she understand the word give me and after she will learn the gesture I will use only my words without showing the gesture and from there she will show me oh I understand the word give me I don't need the gesture anymore and that is a rule but that is why the kid who is hands-on is great for us the hands-on is also a sometimes auditory learner it means he's listening and understand to other what we talk to him and then he can copy so those are the communication that a child has and we can teach him so how can we interact with our child with each step so each step we are taking it we see what they need from there and what do you, they use it and we implement it. So for example, what we showed right now is a child who is head, hands on learner. If it's a visual learner, we will use pictures around the room and we'll do matching with them. If it's a child that is learning from echolalia, we will teach him with sentences uh, difference uh, for that. So there are different strategies and I welcome you to go to on my website, the House of Kids Development. We have a post especially for that. I hope you enjoyed the little uh, video, the short video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments or send me an email through info at autismcan.ca and I will answer you there. Our next video is going to be about gestures and about how to do play, ter uh, play therapy and floor time.